Hey guys, it's me Signu, your friendly neighborhood COD Mobile analyst. And new test server came today and two new guns got launched. You know I'm all about stats and best gunsmith builds. So today I have an analysis of the MX9 SMG with in-depth weapon statistics and best class setups you can make for it. MX9 is an interesting weapon. Talking of stats, it is a SMG and we expect it to have good mobility stats. Our ADS speed is 13 frames, which is what other close quarters SMG like Fennec and QQ9 also have. So right off the bat, we have a rough idea that this will be an aggressive weapon. Our sprints to fire speed are also good and we have 9 frames for sprints to hip fire, which is when we are running or sliding and we start hip firing. And 9 frames is quite good and faster than what other guns like Fennec or Holger or even the shot he has. The sprints to ADS is when we are sliding or running and we open the ADS. And this is 5 frames which is the same as QQ9 and what we expect from a close quarters weapon. Our movement speed is also fast with 6.37 meters per second which is similar to the SMG standard. And ADS movement is a bit slower at 3.38 meters per second. But don't let the number fool you. The MX9 has got ADS movement speed and I will tell you why later in this video. So far so good. The stats are establishing it as a similar gun to the Fennec or QQ9. But mobility stats aren't enough. We need the damages and range values as well to determine the effective range to use this weapon. Starting off with the fire rate, we have 851 rounds per minute, which is fast compared to other guns. But for close quarters SMG, it is normal because QQ9 has 820 rounds per minute and QXR with enhanced bolt is 990 rounds per minute and Fennec is 1111 rounds per minute. It. Compared to them 851 is alright. And till 12 meters we deal 30 damage with 212 milliseconds time to kill. Even hitting all leg shots. One peculiar thing on the MX9 is the hitbox. We have all of the upper body including the arms doing the same damage as base. That is 30 damage. Legs deal a little less but we still maintain 4 shot kill even hitting all leg shots. But if we hit the sacred area then we do lower damage and we have 5 shot kill with 280 2 milliseconds time to kill. So this is weird because when aiming we have to try and either aim for the legs or aim upper body. And if you do hit the sacred area then let the recoil climb up naturally and you will maintain 4 shot kill that way. There is a potential for 3 shot kill as well with 141 milliseconds time to kill. Which seems insane but we need 3 headshots for the 3 shot kill. So just forget about it. It will happen once in a blue moon. Anyway moving forward. From 12 meters to 16 meters we deal 24 damage and we have 282 milliseconds time to kill here. Until 21 meters our damage drops harshly and we deal 16 damage with 423 milliseconds time to kill. And in this range most of the other guns will defeat us so the effective range of using the MX9 is still 16 meters. The final range is from 21 meter onwards and we deal 15 damage and just don't use this weapon at this range. So for a quick summary, the damage is fine and we have till 16 meters with good time to kill. And since it is a close quarters weapon, having good time to kill at mid range will be unbalanced. So the damage and range profile we get is fine. But what is astonishing is the hitbox. This is the recall pattern of the MX9. It goes up and towards the right. So if we start shooting the legs then we will hit the private area and that will make our time to kill worse. So we can either avoid it by aiming up body or if you start shooting the lower body then maintain your aim on the legs. It is even trickier on female skins because their PP is bigger than mine and trying to aim legs we can hit the PP hitbox and get slow time to kill that way. <laughs> so while the stats on this gun seems good it will be tricky to use and a time to kill may feel inconsistent at times. Anyway our base mag has 35 bullets which is fine considering we don't shoot as fast as Fennec and we can kill 3 people spraying with this weapon. And we reload in 2.8 seconds for the full reload animation and 1.8 seconds if reload cancel. 1.8 is a bit slower when we have Fennec reloading in 1.1 seconds. The bullet spread accuracy on this gun is also alright. We cannot play long range with it but our BSA will hold up playing mid range. And we don't need to use BSA boosting attachments. That concludes the stats part of this video. And these stats are provided by Mr. Roy and our gunsmith elf research team. And if you want in depth stats for various guns 
guns, join our Discord server, where we post stats for various guns quite frequently. The link to join is in the description. I also am very grateful to Mr. Roy because all of this gameplay, gunsmith images and other things which I am showing from the test server have been shared by Mr. Roy. So this video is only possible all thanks to Mr. Roy. He is the GOAT and let's have some words of appreciation for him in the comment section. Thank you so much pal, it really means a lot to me. Coming to gunsmith builds, the first thing you will notice is that attachments are a bit confusing. We don't have the standard attachments, rather they are unique and similar to the attachments we get in the Peacekeeper. For starting with our gunsmith build, the first attachment you always need is the large caliber ammo. Our damages and range is the same but our hitbox is buffed and it is easier to maintain consistent time to kill with this attachment. Why I recommend it. The next important attachment is the firm grip as it makes our ADS speed faster and we have 10 frames for ADS speed and also gives less flinch which is nice as SMGs have issues with flinch for making our sprints to fire slow. Don't worry because we use the agile stock which makes the sprints to fire better but most importantly it makes our ADS speed go from mediocre to one of the best in the game as we have 4.73 meters per second for ADS movement speed with this attachment only. The only con is our hip fire will be bad so make it a habit to always ADS and then shoot. The next important attachment is the extended barrel as our 16 meter effective range is 19 meters with it. I don't recommend the silencer barrel as if you want sound suppression you can use the light suppressor instead and we have 18 meters of effective range just 1 meter or less. Agency suppressor is also there but recoil control isn't needed and it makes our range 17 meters which isn't worth it. And by the way if you're enjoying this video please help out by leaving a like and let's aim for 1500 likes on this video and share it around in your COD mobile community so other people can also see this video. Anyway for last attachment, you can also use the infiltrator foregrip as this not only makes our movement speed fast but our ADS movement is 5.07 meters per second with this build which is one of the highest in the game and if you do use this build, use it with the skulker perk and we have 5.48 meters per second ADS movement speed that way. People won't even be able to track you, it is that fast. And since we will be playing close quarters, we can also build a hip fire build with these attachments. And don't forget to equip the gung ho perk with this build for the best performance. So for my recommended builds, I will use the suppressed build, you want sound suppression. But if you don't need it, then use the mobility build. These are my recommended builds. And I also asked Mr. Roy for his recommendations. And he recommends the same. These are the two best builds you can make right now. So give it a try and have a blast with it. For class setup, use quick fix as it is extremely beneficial in close range and blue perk is whatever you want I'll just use the hard line for now and for red perk either use the lightweight for moving fast or the skulker for strafing fast rest are up to preference and I use these so with that I have covered the in-depth analysis of the MX-9 along with the best gunsmith build you can make and also the best class setup for the MX-9 all before the gun is even released officially and I am indebted to Mr. Roy as you may see this as my video but Mr. Roy helped me out with everything in the background which is why I'm even able to make this video in the first place. So Mr. Roy is the MVP for this video and let's have some nice words of appreciation for him in the comments. Finally answering the pending question, is the MX-9 broken? And we can't say much except only time will tell. But I had a chat with people who have tested and played around with this weapon and they said that they didn't find this to be game breaking. Hitbox is an issue and range is also very short so we are full to play a very specific playstyle which is close quarters only where it will do well otherwise we die and double tap to respawn. Peacekeeper overall will still be better for worst style playstyle but MX9 will be better for playing aggressive and it is a better peacekeeper with the rapid fire barrel in a nutshell and MX9 is a fennec alternative as of now. Let's see how the stats change with the official release if they change and debate if it's broken or not again at that time. That will be all for today and I will see you on the next video. Till then, take care guys and bye.